Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be cooking some good, good food. I'm excited. This is one of my favorite meals to make. Um, I made it a few times and each time it's just like, <laughs> So today I'm going to be making spicy rigatoni pasta. So let's get straight into it. So of course I got some groceries. So let me just show y'all everything that I got. All right, so in the rigatoni pasta is chicken. So I got some thinly sliced chicken breast. You're going to need heavy whipping cream. Um. I don't know if there's a difference between heavy whipping cream and heavy cream, but this is the only heavy cream that I saw. Everything else was just half and half. So I grabbed this one. So I'm not sure if it's heavy whipping cream or heavy cream, but get you some heavy cream. Then I got a golden onion. I got some baby spinach. It does also have spinach in it, so I got some baby spinach. Next thing I got was cookie dough. Um, this is not a part of the pasta, obviously, but I just wanted some cookies. Then I got some Texas toast. Usually I get that other famous brand that I can't think of right now, but they all, all they had was great value. So great value, we're gonna test it out today. And of course, we have the rigatoni. Usually I get Barilla, but they only had this brand of rigatoni. Then I got some sharp cheddar cheese and some mozzarella cheese for the sauce and it the sauce is tomato based so i got some tomato paste i did not plan that but that was funny so yeah tomato paste so let's get to cooking so the first thing that i'm gonna do is start boiling my noodles so you just want to take a pot and put some water in here, put some salt, and add your noodles when it's boiling. Now to my water boiling for the noodles, I'm also going to add a cube of chicken bouillon to the noodles. Just to give the noodles like some flavor. And not the cubes, or the powder. Let me see if I have some cubes. Update, I don't have any cubes, so we're going to do the powder. I guess it's basically the same thing. So yeah. So now we're gonna get started with the chicken. So for the chicken, I clean my chicken with vinegar and lemon juice. So now I got them all in a bowl. So now I'm just gonna wash them with water first. To actually clean the chicken, I use a generous amount of vinegar. And a not so generous amount of lemon juice. I'm also gonna cut off a little bit of fat off of the chickens too, like all of this needs to go. And I'm just gonna cut the fat that I don't want, like on the chicken because it's gross, it's nasty. I typically let it sit in here for like five, 10 minutes and then I'll rinse it off with cold water. Um, I'm gonna dump a little bit out and I'm actually gonna put some salt on the chicken too to clean it. Our water is boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the noodles. And also, I forgot to mention that I did add olive oil to the water so that the noodles wouldn't stick together. So we're just going to let that boil and fatten up. I'm just going to go ahead and cut them up into bite-sized pieces. I'm probably going to put this on a time lapse, so... All right, y'all, so all the chicken is cut. So now I'm going to just pat them 
dry a little bit so that the seasoning can stick on it. Transfer it back into here. So now our chicken is all clean and cut. So y'all, when it comes to seasoning, I say just do whatever feels right. Like I don't have like any measurements or anything like that. I just usually just whatever I got is what's going in there. I'm gonna add another packet of the chicken bouillon seasoning just to give it a nice like chicken flavor. And I'm gonna try to mix it as I go. Cause you know how it could just be sitting like all on top. So I'm just gonna try to mix it as I go when it comes to seasoning. Next thing I'm gonna add is some oil. This will ensure that the chicken is a little crispy when I cook it and that the seasoning will be mixed in there all good. Cayenne pepper since it is supposed to be a little spicy. But we're not gonna do too much. Then we're gonna do some Creole seasoning. And again, just do what feels right. Goya adobo seasoning. This is like an OG for me. Like I use this for like everything. Everything and anything. Crushed red pepper. Add a little bit more to the spice. Garlic powder. And add that in there. Like so. Pepper, black pepper. Then we're gonna take some Sazon Goya. Add that in there. And last but not least, I'm going to be adding some habanero hot sauce to add it a little kick of spice up in there. If y'all don't know nothing about this hot sauce, it's so good. It's good on its own and it's also very good when it comes to cooking. And mix that in there. This is how our chicken is looking, nice and seasoned. To so start cooking the chicken, <clears throat> you wanna just add a little bit of oil. I don't need too much because I do have nonstick pans, so you don't really need too much oil. But we're gonna let that get hot for a little while. And then these noodles, I don't know if y'all can tell, these noodles seem to be just about done. Now we're gonna add the chicken. So I'm gonna put this on low to medium heat because I don't want this to like, you know, go crazy at me. And while we're letting the chicken cook, I'm gonna bring you guys back over here because now we're gonna start slicing and dicing. So we're gonna take our golden onion. I don't know if this is gold, if it's called a golden onion or a yellow onion. <laughs> Something's telling me yellow onion, but I always say golden. I don't know. But we're gonna thinly slice this up. Hopefully I don't start crying. Where is that from in the comments? Where is that from in the comments? Alright, so we're just gonna pack up the rest of this onion because we don't need her just yet. Alright, y'all, so the chicken is cooking. So I'm just going ahead and making sure everything is good. I'm gonna put the fire up just a little bit. I'm gonna use my strainer since I don't have like a actual whatever that thing is called, the clean salad. So the last few times that I've made this, I'm pretty sure I've used the entire bag. So we're just gonna wash the entire bag. I'm 
Now we're gonna drain the noodles. All right, y'all, so this is how the chicken is coming out. It's, I had a little test taste piece. It's so good, nice and flavorful with that little bit of spice. Um, I have the oven preheating for the Texas toast and the cookies. So now I'm just waiting for the chicken to get done so I can use the saucepan to make the actual sauce. Um, so yeah, I'll come back when the chicken is done. Okay, y'all, so the chicken is definitely getting done. We put the heat down because it started going a little crazy here. All right, so we're going to put this chicken to the side while um, we get everything else together. So while that's heating up, I'm going to add some minced garlic. Mm -hmm. My diced onions. So I'm just gonna saute these until the onion is cooked a little, a little more. I don't like it to be too crunchy. So now I'm going to add my tomato paste. This is the one that I'll be using. So I'm just going to add like quite a bit, quite a portion. We're just going to cook that into it. Open that up. Ooh. Open that up and pour that straight in. Again, I don't have any measurements, so you're just gonna eyeball it. And you're just gonna keep mixing that into it itself until the ingredients blend together. So it'll slowly start to combine the more you mix it together. I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoning. So I'm gonna go in with the adobo seasoning. Just a little bit right there. A little bit of garlic seasoning. Garlic powder. Of course, a little bit more of that hot sauce. Do a little cayenne pepper for the spice as well. A little Creole seasoning. And obviously I'm not going as heavy in the sauce because it doesn't really, you know, require too much heaviness. We're gonna add some more crushed red pepper for that kick. Mm. Some mozzarella cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead and leave this out too. Because we're gonna be putting it when we combine everything together. Oh my goodness, up in there. 
All right, y'all. So now that everything is nice and mixed in together, I'll turn my fire back on low. Now we're gonna start adding the spinach. So I'm just gonna add them like a handful at a time to cook it down. It typically cooks down pretty quickly. Um, so I'll just keep mixing it in. So now I'm just gonna drop this up and let it cook down for a few. All right, so now, as I can see, the spinach has shrunken down. That's what we want. I like mine to be really, really cooked. So, boom, there's that. All right, y'all, so I did, I did go and add some mozzarella cheese to the pasta, but this is how we're looking. There's the pasta, here is the cheese bread, and here are the cookies. Yay, looks so yummy. All right, y'all, so here is the final meal. Spicy rigatoni pasta with garlic bread. Period, y'all, this looks so good, and it tastes so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, y'all, so this is the food. So, so good, guys. So, so good. Mm. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take my food. Mm. So, so good. Thank y'all for tuning into this video with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and me cooking. Let me know if you guys want more content like this because this was something different. I kind of thought of this on the fly because <laughs> I wanted to cook. Um, so let me know if you guys want some more content like this. Um, spam the comments if you like this kind of content. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on your post notifications. So you're notified every time that I post. I know y'all been seeing the consistency. We're trying to keep it. <laughs> We're trying to keep it a little bit longer. Um, forever, you know, is the goal. So yeah, um, drop some recipes below you guys want me to try. Um, again, I got this recipe from Cooking with Jai. So go ahead and check out her content. She's a dope chef on Instagram. So yeah, I'll see. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.